Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Angie B, and today I decided to film for you guys my relaxer routine. And I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is much longer than the last time. Let's see if you can see that. It is much longer than the last time I relaxed my hair, which was about six and a half months ago. And so this was the longest stretch I've ever done and I thought I would explain to you guys what my full relaxer routine is like and unfortunately I did not film the process of me putting the relaxer in my hair and that is because if you guys know relaxer is a very dangerous chemical. I did want to get a scalp burn and if I was showing you guys I knew it was going to be much slower but I have everything here and I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how I relax my hair. So starting with the day before my relaxer, or at least two days before, I will scalp my entire head with whatever oil of my choice. Could be olive oil, macadamia nut oil, avocado oil, an oil mix, but I would advise you not to put anything like tea tree oil or peppermint oil. Although it is good for your hair, it might just irritate your scalp before the relaxer, so you might want to be mindful of that. So I scalped my hair with an oil mix just before. Um, you could even use an already made mix like this. Mega Growth, Profective, Anti-Breakage Strengthening Growth Oil. It's very light. It's not, it's not like stimulating on the scalp. So you know that it's not going to affect your relaxer. And remember you guys, I'm saying relaxer and text laxed interchangeably because I feel like it's similar, almost the same thing because I actually use a relaxer. So this is the relaxer I've been using for maybe three years and I really love this relaxer. I'm sure if you watch this channel you know that I use lots of ORS products and I am not sponsored by them. They did not pay me to do this. They did not send me my relaxer. I bought this with my own money just like all the products that I'm using and that I'll be showing in this video. So this is the relaxer I use. It is the hair repair ORS, Roots, ORS um, hair repair no lie conditioning relaxer system with cuticle shield and it has avocado and coconut oils and it is in normal so because I text lax my hair I always use normal I never use extra strength no matter how much growth I have because I do not want to get my hair to be bone straight I still want to leave the texture in the hair hence the word text lax so let me start by why I like this relaxer the first thing which is let me just say the thing that I've never found in any other relaxer is this and it is the cuticle shield and this is basically it's like a gel like consistency and you put this all over your hair that's been relaxed prior or if you previously relaxed your hair you just put this on your hair and it makes sure that if the cream goes on that hair by mistake it's not going to damage the hair and it's not going to get over processed so if you don't have something like this in your relaxer system, like there's many other relaxers like the Cream of Nature Argan Oil or whatever relaxer you're using, if you're going to do it yourself, or even if you go to a hair salon, make sure you coat your hair in a thick oil like olive oil. Castor oil might be too thick, but something like olive oil, you could even put Vaseline on your hair, only on the hair that's previously relaxed, because if you put it on the new growth, then that hair is not going to get relaxed. So I start off by putting this, and then Everything else, if you've relaxed or text relaxed your hair before, then you know the basic steps. You have the relaxer in the container that comes like this, which is the A, and then you have the activator, which is in the bottle B, and you pour that into the mix. Mix it up, let it sit for at least three minutes. This is something that a lot of people forget to do. I honestly don't know what the specific reason is, but every time I get a relaxer, I always make sure that I read the instructions. And on the instructions, it always says, make sure it sits for a minimum of three minutes, but don't, of course, don't leave it for hours. Just at least three minutes so that everything can be perfectly mixed in, and then you can start your application. To apply my relaxer, I know every boxed relaxer comes with this little stick. And... I don't have a problem with the stick, it's just that I always, I mix the relaxer with this, but then I feel like because the relaxer is so strong, at a certain point, maybe halfway through the relaxer, this starts to get like soft and really bendy, and then the sides also could start like flaking, and then that could chip away at your hair. So I would advise you to use a spatula 
or the back of a small comb. So what I use to apply my relaxer is this and this would be my favorite option. If you guys have this kind of a brush, you could probably get them at your local beauty supply store. The way I use this is of course I put the relaxer on this end and then I use this end to part my hair. Of course instead of using a fine tooth comb I just rather use this. So I'm just going to show you how I applied it since I don't have the relax on me right now. But basically I'll part my hair down the middle and then across so I have four subsections. And then I would basically make a part like that. And then I would get the relaxer and then apply it like that down the hair. And I would only stop about somewhere there. I had about four inches of new growth so I, that would basically be around there and I would make sure that the relaxer doesn't pass that area. So I would just go like that, get the back of the comb, make another section, put on the top of the hair like that, and then put at the bottom of the hair until I go throughout my entire head and when my whole head has relaxer, I just massage that in and then of course not in the scalp like that. I just do this basically to the hair to make sure that all the relaxer is well incorporated into my hair. Make sure you don't focus the relaxer on your scalp. You should put it on the hair and away from the scalp as much as you can. Always put a layer of Vaseline all over your face or in case your relaxer comes with something that's like that to protect your face then of course that's fine. You put it on your ears, behind the neck and at the back to make sure that you don't get any chemical burns on your skin. Another thing that I would advise is to time your process because I don't go past the time. I try my best. Sometimes I go slightly over, but I try my best not to go past the time, which is 18 minutes for my texture of hair. For other people, it might be less, it might be more. So if you have a friend to help you or someone who's good with hair, it would be better for them to help you just for the application process and you can do the rest yourself. But if you're by yourself, like me, how I relax my hair, just try to be as quick as you can, just do the application first and then go back and smooth. And when smoothing the relaxer into the hair, I do not use a wide tooth comb or a tiny comb. I use the back of a comb like this or most likely I use a fine tooth comb, the back of this comb. So. For example, if there's relaxer here, I would use only the back part and smooth it in like that. Go to the next part like that and then smooth it down again. If you want, you can also just use your hands, but make sure that you're wearing gloves. Um, usually the gloves that come, come in the box are these ones. As you can see, I didn't use them because this is the size of the glove. And this is the size of my hand. So clearly these gloves were not made for my hands. So I always use a pair of like surgical gloves or gloves for hair dye. I'm pretty sure you can find them at your local chemist or beauty supply store. And that's what I use because I feel like you have more control over the relaxer if the gloves are on your hands well. But if this is your only option and you have nothing else to do but to use these gloves, I advise you to use like a hair tie or something like that so that you can wear the glove like that so you wear the glove get the hair tie and tie it around your wrist like so and that will at least secure the glove to make sure that it doesn't come off your hands while you're trying to put the relaxer and I feel like this is the only best option if you don't have hair bands you can just try using the gloves if you don't have any gloves at all, I suggest you do not relax your hair until you get a pair of gloves because you don't want to burn your hands. One vital thing that I add to make sure that my hair is text-laxed is oil. This time I used macadamia nut oil, but you can use whatever your favorite oil is. Avocado oil, olive oil, as long as it's a carrier oil. I only added one, t one tablespoon of this to my relaxer and I mixed it in and what this does is I'm not going to say it exactly conditions your hair but it slows down the process of the relaxer so if you want to be slower it's going to slow down the process and also it almost prevents 
to a high rate it prevents your hair from getting over processed and straight after that of course I use the neutralizing shampoo and guys this packet looks really tiny the first time I saw this packet I'm like do you know how much hair I have there is no way this tiny packet is gonna wash all the relaxer out of my hair but I get six washes out of this this time I washed my hair five or six times and there's still a tiny bit left so I really love this shampoo it's a neutralizing shampoo if you guys watch my channel you know I'm not too fond of shampoos because I don't really like to shampoo my hair especially sulfate ones but whether you use sulfate free shampoos when you relax your hair you have to use a neutralizing shampoo because it neutralizes it does what it says right it neutralizes the shampoo and it stops the it, sorry it neutralizes the relaxer and it stops it from processing your hair so if you use a regular shampoo then your hair is going to keep processing afterwards so you need to make sure you use this kind this is one of the color one of the color ones the color Q ones which means if there's still relaxer in your hair even in one tiny patch is going to turn pink so you have to continue washing your hair as many times as you can until it is pure white with no trace of pink then you can move on to the conditioning process so what I do to condition my hair is before I use the conditioner that comes in the box I use um, another ORS product it is the hair mayonnaise now this one is empty because basically I finished it I have this huge one because I just love this product so it is a hair treatment it is a protein treatment so I use this in the Alpha G 2 minute reconstructor interchangeably so this time I decided to use the hair mayonnaise and the reason why I still have this is because this is so big that I don't want to keep putting my hands into it and adding germs and stuff so I decant some of that into this and then I just use it from there. I went into the dryer for 15 minutes with a plastic cap on. You could do this in a steamer as well of course which would even be better. So my hair is low porosity which means that it's really hard for it to absorb products without heat so that's why I go under the dryer. If you'd like to know more about porosity then leave a comment in the section below and I'll make sure I do a video on that. But anyway moving on after I do that I wash that out and then I go in with the conditioner from here which is the nourishing conditioner and I love this conditioner. It leaves the hair extremely soft. The only reason why I would not purchase this is because I hate the smell of banana it just makes me want to throw up but if ORS could make exactly the same product and it smelled like I don't know apples or oranges or any other fruit in the world I would be in love with it and use it all the time so that's the only reason but if you don't mind the smell of banana then this product is so amazing I love this conditioner and just to make it work even better if you've watched my deep conditioning video I'll link it in the comment section below on top of my conditioner, I always add a little bit of avocado oil. I've tried this with olive oil, macadamia oil, but nothing ever seems to work as well as avocado oil. Go under a plastic cap again, then this time I go in the dryer for 30 minutes. I know it's a long time guys, but if you really want your hair to be healthy, then you're going to have to put in the work, right? So after that, I go under the dryer for 30 minutes, I wash that out to blow dry my hair, and then I flat iron it as you guys know if you've been watching my channel you know I only flat iron my hair when I relax it but I would make an exception this time because you guys really love my flat iron routine video and now I have slightly changed my routine I found an even better routine so if you guys would like to see my updated flat iron routine then please leave that in the comment section below and I'll definitely respond if you guys are not already part of the family then hit that subscribe button over there and you get updates every time I upload a new video and I'll be in your feed. I know I haven't been uploading as frequently as usual, but that is because I've had the worst flu of my life. Like my skin was dry, my hair was looking bad, my voice was gone, it was so bad. So I am officially back and I'm going to be posting as much as I can. So you guys can just request, 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 follow me on my social media. If you guys would like to see my daily posts, what I do on a regular day and everything like that. Bye!